President Biden says Belarus committed shameful assaults on dissent and freedom of the press by diverting a commercial jet and removing one of its high-profile critics from the plane. Elizabeth Palmer is tracking the fate of that opposition journalist. Liz, good morning. Good morning. Well, after he was pulled off the plane on Sunday night, Roman Protasevich disappeared into custody. And then a full 24 hours later, he showed up again in this video. It was released on the government's social media channel, apparently filmed by the police. It's no secret that Pratasevich was a key figure in the movement opposed to Belarus's authoritarian president, Alexander Lukashenko. But family and friends say this confession was forced and note a visible bruise on his forehead. This is an attack on democracy. European leaders have been quick to react to the fake bomb scare on Sunday that diverted a Ryanair plane to Minsk just so Belarusian security forces could arrest Pratasevich. And Belarus used its control over its airspace in order to perpetrate a state hijacking. European governments have not only ordered their planes to avoid Belarusian airspace, but they'll also close their airports to Belarusian planes and sanction figures involved in the hijacking. After police attacked and arrested anti-Lukashenko protesters, thousands of young Belarusians, including Pratasevich, fled abroad for safety. Franek Viavorka is one of them. How much more afraid are you and your colleagues today than you were last week? Uh, I'm afraid of uh, my life. Now, now uh, no one can feel safe. Even if you are traveling abroad, we know that we might be followed. But they don't know what President Lukashenko, brazen enough to force down a civilian jet to seize a political dissident, might do for an encore. President Biden joined European leaders calling for Protasevich's release, but the chances of that are practically zero, realistically, like hundreds of other political prisoners in Belarus. He's probably facing many years in jail. Gail? Very frightening situation there. Thank you very much, Elizabeth, reporting from London.